Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we are going to solve another problem on conductivity of semiconductors. Consider an intrinsic silicon bar of cross section 5 cm square and length 0.5 cm at room temperature and we already know room temperature is 300 Kelvin. We have an intrinsic silicon bar, it means we have an intrinsic semiconductor and in case of intrinsic semiconductor, the concentration of electrons small n is equal to the concentration of holes small p and it is equal to n i the intrinsic carrier density and the value for n i is already given in the problem 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube so we have small n and small p an average field of 20 volt per centimeter is applied across the ends of silicon bar an average field it means we have the electric field intensity capital E and it is equal to 20 volts per centimeter so these are the two things given in the problem and also we are given the values of mobility for electron mu n mobility of hole mu p and uh, obviously the charge of one electron 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs so these are the things given in the problem and we have to calculate the first thing is electron and hole components of current density so let's start with the solution part the first thing that we have to find out is the electron and hole components of current density current density j is given as small n mu n QE plus small p mu p QE this is the current density and we already know the formula for it you can also remember the current density from Ohm's law we know that Ohm's law is equal to J is equal to Sigma E where Sigma is the conductivity and conductivity in case of semiconductors is given as small n mu n plus a small p mu p q so if you remember the formula for conductivity you can easily derive the formula for current density now in this formula the first part small n mu n q e is electron component of current density this is electron component of current density and we have to find out electron component of current density as well as whole component and this part is whole component of current density so we are going to calculate electron component and whole component individually and uh, that will satisfy the solution for the first part so let's move to it I will change the color and first we will calculate the electron component small n mu n q e and this is equal to the value for small n is equal to n i and n i is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 mu n is 1400 1400 q is the charge of one electron that is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 capital E is given as 20 if you solve this you are going to have the value for electron component equal to 67.20 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere per centimeter square or we can write 67.20 micro ampere per centimeter square so this is the electron component and now we will calculate the whole component that is p mu p q e the value for p is definitely 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 because we are having the intrinsic semiconductor the mobility of hole is smaller as compared to the mobility of electron and it is 450 this is 5 4 5 0 centimeter square per volt second and uh, the charge of electron 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 the electric field intensity is 20 if you solve this you are going to have 21.6 micro ampere per centimeter square as the whole component for current density so these are 
the answer for the A part of this problem and now we will move to B part and in B part we have to calculate the total current in the bar so we are going to find out the total current in the bar and uh, we know that current density J is equal to current per unit cross-sectional area A is the cross-section area and uh, if we have the current density and we have the cross-section area we can easily find out the value for total current so I is equal to J multiplied by cross-sectional area where J is the current density and uh, we have the current density J when we add the electron component with the whole component electron component is 67.20 microampere per centimeter square 67.20 plus whole component is 21.6 we will add them and this will be our current density and uh, we will multiply this with the cross-sectional area A and the cross-sectional area A is 5 centimeter square so 5 centimeter square and uh, the unit will be micro ampere and this will be 444 micro ampere the total current so this is the answer for the B part and now we will move to the last part of this problem and uh, in this part we have to find out resistivity of the bar if you remember the last presentation we calculated the resistivity rho and it is equal to 1 by sigma the conductivity so 1 upon sigma is equal to n mu n plus p mu p into q I'm not going to solve for sigma you can easily solve it I'm going to write down the value for resistivity directly so the resistivity rho is going to be 22.52 into 10 to the power 4 ohm centimeter so this is the answer for the third part Q we have P we have mu P we have a small n and mu n we have everything the only thing you need to do is to put the values and solve it by using your scientific calculators this is all for this presentation if you have any doubt regarding any part of this lecture you may ask in the comment section